good one, guys. Oh, yeah, it's a big, large mouth. Oh. That's a tank. Oh, my gosh. you from my favorite lake in the mountains in the woods what I'm not gonna beat around the bush I'll just tell you I got a new PB what a morning man it was right off the bat early this morning that's why I get out here early it was before the major feed this fish was an absolute beast I won't tell you the size but she pulled me round and round and round and down. And there happened to be three residents watching the whole thing. Two were in a kayak and one was right there on the shore. So once I landed it, I had to show them because they were all just on pins and needles waiting to see what was pulling me around like that. You could hear my drag peeling. So she was a beauty. Oh, love it. Won't tell you the weight. I'll let you watch it on the video. So needless to say, I got my kicker fish for this month. That was one of my goals for today. And the other goal was to get my three 18 inch fish. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I got part of that too. So phenomenal day. The fish were kind of not super eager to eat, but I nitpicked. I picked areas clean. I threw a bunch of different baits and like I'd throw multiple baits in an area and see if they'd hit any of them. It paid off to be, you know, stubborn and nitpicky. So I have no complaints about today's fishing. Only 15 bass landed, but hey, who's counting when you got a PB, right? I got my official results for Women's Fishing Federation August. I'll put that leaderboard right here. Yours truly got first place again. Yes, I'm excited about that. So let's catch you up to September. So here's the Women's Fishing Federation September leaderboard. Today's fish certainly helped me. And these fish will also go towards my KBF main state challenge for September. Let's put the leaderboard here. And last but not least, the Catch-22. Yeah, super excited about today. Wow. And it was a really rare, beautiful, just calm most of the day. And, and I didn't expect a whole lot because we weren't having a lot of wind. But the wind rippled a little bit, the bite turned on. Lake got completely glass flat, and of course it turned off, and it picked up as I was working my way in, and I just caught another. She was about four pounds, just right here close to the ramp. So, amazing day of fishing. This right here is being shot on the GoPro Hero 13. I have two out of my three cameras. I'm waiting for the third one. It's coming Monday, along with some other accessories, so we'll do the unboxing then. And I didn't want to put them on my kayak and start filming till I have the complete setup. But this is a Hero 13. And I had my wireless mic. It won't stay connected. So I have some troubleshooting to do. And it's happening on both of the brand new cameras. And not everyone's having that problem. Firmwares are up to date. So I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I've done factory resets. I've checked the forums. Nothing supposed to be 100% compatible with the, the DJI Mic 2 Hero 13. I'll get it figured out, but uh, for now we're using internal mic, so if it's muffled or whatever, blame it on the Hero. Anywho, let's roll you today's, I'm excited to show you, PB fishing footage. Good morning, folks. 6.04. Happy Friday the 13th. 
We're out here at one of my favorite spots. See if we can get on a couple of 18s. 18s for the slot, top of the slot, and then a kicker. So stick around. Let's see what we can do on this beautiful morning. So I'm going to try another top water this morning. Back by popular demand. Spooky Joe. Let's see if anybody wants to hit this super spook. Boy, I hear a loon going nuts out on the main lake. It is squawking. Must be in distress. Come on, Spooky Joe. Do your thing. Let's get up next to this vegetation. It's a nice morning, guys. 45. Oh, I got grass. 45. Water temps at about 69. We've got some cloud coverage. It's supposed to stay mostly cloudy all day, but we'll see about that. But it's pretty day. Can you hear that loon? It's doing the normal loon cry, but then it's doing that distress one too. Or it sounds kind of like a turkey. No takers on the top water in here. We've got a 5.5 on the bass forecast rating. We have a major feed at 730. So it's lining up to be a decent day. The winds aren't super strong though. That could be if the winds get stifled. I gotta throw underwater on these logs. Um, yeah, the wind is gonna be the factor. We don't have very much of it, but we'll see. Let's throw the fluke. We'll see what the weatherman gets right. Pretty shallow up in here. Might be a big large mouth in here. They might want the Nico in here. You guys know how good that lure is for me. If we don't get something on this fluke here in a minute, I'm gonna drop a Nico in there. Good. Let's let it sink for a second. Sometimes they don't want them moving. They'll eat the fluke on the fall. All right, let's throw them in. Sinking bait. I have a tiny child on. Let's just see if they'll hit that. Oh, shoot. I'm caught up. There we go. got to go with what you feel. And I feel the Nico rig. Go with your confidence, bait. Okay, now we're set. Let's drop it back over here. Oh, there's some fish on it. Told y'all. Oh, he's dropped it. He was swimming away with it. I'm speaking really quietly because there are cabins up in those trees. I try not to interrupt people's nature time. All right, we'll keep pressing on. Got a little bit of a nibble, but let me get out to the main lake and see if I can't get on some big smallmouth. Let's throw it right in the pads. I swear the water's higher. There's one. That's big fish. That's big fish. 
That's a good one. Come here, you yeah. beautiful beast. Yeah, that's decent. He's not going to be an upgrade, but it's a good start. Good start. I need 16 and a half and bigger. This is a beauty, though. First fish of the day. Look at that joker. He's not big, but we'll put him on the board. Use him for the any mini KBF. Fourteen seventy five. Healthy, healthy, healthy. She's eating. She's got a red mouth. She or he had lipstick on. Bass number one. Oh, we got a pretty sunrise. I see some beautiful red over the horizon. Actually, over the mountains. There's no horizon showing. Let's try the top water over here. Wow, look at the sunrise, just gorgeous. Nothing on top water yet, not even a bump. Got a big fat nothing. <clears throat> Maybe they don't want a super spook. Super long cast. This thing casts a mile. Uh oh, I'm in the grass. Nobody's hitting much of anything. It's 6.45. We have about 45 minutes till the, the major. I think that's going to be my sweet spot today. Just for kick, should we put on the lane changer and see if that makes a difference? It's such a huge bait. All right, we'll cast in the same spot. This one's a little easier for me to work. You just reel it. Oh, I just had a bump. I had a bump. I'm gonna throw this a little bit. That's a good one. Oh, that's a real good one. That's a good one. Good one, guys. It's pulling like a small mouth, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a large mouth because it's not jumping. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, yeah, it's a big, large mouth. Oh, don't 
don't jump, don't jump. Oh gosh, that's about five pounds. That's a tank. <laughs> That's the main trophy. Oh my gosh. Guys, that's five pounds. That is a giant. He's got a rip under his... He's been around the block. Oh, hooked good, but he could have pulled that off. <sighs> Goodness. <laughs> I'm being quiet because there are people around me. That's a tank. That is a tank. This is why I throw the Nico. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This is a giant. I think this is a PB. There's a lady on the shore that's watching me, but there's a canoe that's not far from here. What a beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this, guys. This is probably six pounds. No, five pounds. Now we're talking. Gosh. We're gonna wear, we'll weigh this one. This is my personal best. Gosh, where did I catch her? I think she was by that rock. Wow. All right, let's get a weight on this girl. Here comes a loon. Oh, there it is. This is a, I'm going to say she's probably five and a half. This is a heavy fish. I mean, she's, she's tall. She's thick. She is thick. All right. I say five, five, twelve. We got a new PB. We got us a new PB. Five pounds, ten ounces. Yes! All right, folks. As much as I hate to, let's let this beauty go. What a fish. What a fish. For Maine, this is an absolute tank. That's an absolute brute tank of a fish. Look at that. She's thick. She's feeding up. Let's let her go. Oh my gosh, fish. Oh my gosh, she's biting. Here we go. Just wow. That's why I throw a Nico a lot. They love it. They can't resist it. Okay, there's my kicker for the month. Makes me feel good. Now let's get on some 18s. I pick all these boulders apart, guys. I concentrate with a sinking bait on these just because they're usually at the base down low. So this Nico rig works really well in here tiny child works like right there at the base of the rock see if anybody's in there 
It's eight feet right here, eight feet deep. This is probably one of the most beautiful mornings I've had fishing. Aside from the fish, I just mean the, the weather and the conditions. Got a little bit of fog, got smoke on the water, got clouds, a little bit of sun, a little bit of wind. Oh, there's a fish too, right on that rock. You just hit it. Yeah, the conditions don't get much better than this. It is just absolutely perfect. Perfect conditions for a northern largemouth PB. Personal best, if you don't know what PB stands for. I get asked that a lot, believe it or not. It means personal best. That's my personal best main northern largemouth. Let's put the top water some through this grass. Now I'm still using the lane changer. It's just easier in this grassy area. It's not super deep, but there are fish in there. Guarantee you there's a bunch of fish in there. Bring it right through this little gap. Boom. Gonna watch. Oh, two loons. One just popped up. It's gonna say I gotta watch that loon. We got a pair. Oh, did you guys see that? That was probably a pickerel, but somebody just took a little kiss on it. Let's go through there again. Maybe he'll hit it again. All right, loonies, beat it. That might be a mother and a and a younger, I mean an older chick. She's feeding it, but it looks like an adult. Why don't you get in front of me, loon? Calling for her baby. Where's she at? They swim so fast. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where the baby is. Oh, they're both right behind me. Right th oh, there's three. There sure is. That was a different one. This is the family. I gotta keep my phone in my pocket. Let's fish. I'm fascinated by the loons, though. Let's throw a crankbait in here a little bit. Not getting a whole lot of bites on the on the uh, Nico anymore. Let's throw this. I got the hybrid hunter. We're not in super deep here. We're on this little plateau, boulder field. grass in it. Got grass. Let's see, I could throw an underspin. Let's throw this a little bit more. Nothing on the crankbait. Um, let's throw a swim bait. You know what? Let's throw the bull shad a little bit. Won't hurt. We're in kind of a good area for it. I gotta put it on my multi-purpose rod though. I only have really one rod for big baits. All right, let's throw the bull shad around. Hope those loons are gone. I don't see them. 
We're in about six feet of water here, but it's varying depths because of boulders. Really kind of fast. Yeah, we're not super deep right here. Let's go into this grass. All right, I'm not getting any hits on the big bull. Uh-oh, I'm losing my cloud cover very soon, folks. Let's go back to the Nico in this grass for a bit. Shallow. It's a pick. It's a pick. Whoa, we're getting into some shallow right here. Come here. Come here, you little rocket. He was up on this real shallow stuff. The pick. First pick of the day. It's a good one. Ah, oh, he got away. I was going to release him. There he is, right there. He's not going anywhere, he's just sitting there. Just a little smallmouth. Been throwing the spinner bait a few casts here. I'm not getting hit on anything now. And I might have just had a little sunrise slam and that might be it for the day. We're in the major feed. No bites. That's on a white spinner bait. Let's go back to my, my sinking bait. I'm going to hit these rocks over here, move down. Just keep fishing around these, these flats. Oh, I love those loons. And uh, I can always head up, up river or I can go to the other bank and fish the other shoreline for a bit. There's lots of opportunity here on this lake still. We got a thousand acres or so. I'm sure we'll find something. Let's keep fishing. That was my stomach growling. I saw him eat that. Could be decent. Let's see. Is it a large? Oh, it's a slime rocket. It's a slime rocket. Mm. Oh, he came off. That's my stomach, guys. I don't know why it's growling like a beast. It's just a little small mouth. Oh, couldn't even show him. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. Nothing big. Wow, he did not even let it hit the water. A little large mouth. Just a little largey. He has some beautiful, oh no, stop fish, stop fish. He has beautiful coloring. Oh, hang on, hang on. Beautiful coloring. Thanks, fish. First one on the hybrid hunter this morning. That was a just a, a lucky shot on the hybrid hunter getting snatched first cast because I'm not getting squat on it now. Please be seated. I'm going to give this jackhammer in Firecraw a few tosses. I mean, we are in fall. 
cross should be turning orange for whatever they do in the winter, molting or burrowing, whatever they do. Let's see if we can get something on the chatter. Let it sink into these boulders. I'm in a bouldery, there's grass on the bottom, but not, not thick, tall grass. And there's a little sunfish. Checking out my bait. Wowza, the bite is nada. It is gone. We are one hour halfway through the prime, the major feed. Wow, it is just shut off. And I'm shocked. It's gotta be because there's no wind. We can go back up towards this, the river here. I think I'm gonna try that. And I might fish the other shoreline over there. There's some more boulders and flats. That's why I get out here early. I got that big fish early, early. It was, I don't even think it was seven o'clock. And after that, not much. Just a few smalls. Getting much of anything. Oh, there's, oh shoot. That was a big hit. That could have been a pick. Let's go back in with the wacky, the sticko. He hit it as soon as it hit the water. Let's see if he's still around there. That was a big thump right there. Let's see if he'll hit that. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. There he is, he's got it. Oh, no, I might have been in the grass. Wishful thinking. Nope. Let's go back with the jackhammer. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a good fish. Good fish. Good, good fish. It was in the same spot right next to that boulder. Good fish. Good fish. Can't see it yet. Um, oh, it's a daggum slime rocket. Wow. That's a good one. Look at that. Don't break off my jackhammer. bringing them in here because I don't want them to break off my $15 chatterbait. Yeah, that was the, that was a pick over there. Oh, he was barely hooked. Let's see if we can get him out of here. Look at that joker. That's a good one. Arr. Thanks, fish. Thanks for the excitement. There's one. I don't know what it is. I felt it get really light when he picked it up. It's a good fish. Smally? Oh, he's pulling drag. That's bass. It's a large mouth. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, it's getting down in the hole. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's an upgrade. Chatterbait comes through with a tank of a fish. Look at that joker. Maybe 17, I don't know. Can we get 18 out of that? Let's see what we got. Yes, the wind's picking back up. That's what I just said before that cast. Getting a little more wind now. That turns on the bite. Got to have a little bit of wind. Sit still in there. It's right next.
likes those rocks. All right. You gotta cooperate. This one's rowdy. Rowdy. Well, it's kind of long. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, this is wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. She was pulling drag on my bait caster. That's a strong fish. Strong fish. There she is, guys. She's 18 right on the money. Thank you, fish. All right, fish. Thank you. Thank you, chatterbait. It's starting to rain. No, it's not supposed to rain. Oh my, just a little bit, but maybe it'll turn on the bite more. Go away, rain. Dang, I got more coming. Sheesh, I might get booted out of here early. I had intended to spend all morning. That looks like, oh, there's a loon right in front of me. Mister, be careful. I saw his bubbles. He's fishing. There's gotta be one by the dock. They're always fish by the dock. Told you. Always fish by the dock. little but it's a bass it's a largey he wanted that craw thanks fish i added just a tiny tiny weight as you can see it right here it's just one of those titan x screw in 132nd and what it does is it allows the craw to drop and the little legs the claws do a little flutter as it's going down. Right there. Cold bass. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't even feel and pick that up. Wow, look at that fish swim. That's gorgeous fish. That's a gorgeous fish. Look at that. Look at the colors on that. Oh, he hooked himself. And he did a good job. Double hooked. Good job, fish. Let's put you on the board for a minute. Jeez. He just soaked me. Those loons are still up there, just a screeching. It's cold feeling too. Okay, relax. All right, let's let them go. Fourteen, what was it? Fourteen fifty. Thank you, fish. Wow, that was a kingfisher. Just did a dive right into the water. Know how he got hooked like that. Let's see if anybody's on that stick. Come on. Come on, fish. I know you're in there. Oh, 
Oh, good fish, good fish, good fish. Let's keep her out of the sticks. Keep her out of the sticks. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Yes, she was right in the sticks where she was supposed to be. Let's see, I need more than 1650 for an upgrade. That's a decent fish. That's long. I got too short of a finger. There we go. That's a long fish, guys. That's going to be an update. It's going to be an upgrade. I believe. I believe that's 17. But let's find out. Itty bitty mouth. Oh, she's not. Oh, she's not. Wow. 16 and a half. That's basically what my shortest fish is. That's beauty, though. Right there. Thank you, fish. We have some good cover right here. This whole shoreline. It's in the shade. Lots of timber. Lots of pads, just splotches, grass, docks. I don't catch fish on this side very often. And I mean, I fish it. That 16 and a half was probably the best one I've gotten on this side. Oh, there's one. Oh, that might have been a pick. That was a weird bite. I thought I broke off for a second. Let's get it back up in there. If it was a bass, she might hit again. She hit it immediately. Come on, fish. Got all kinds of structure under there. Let's go closer to the shore. Right under the trunk. Whoa. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, it's a daggum rocket. Rocket! Should have known by the way he slammed it. That's a good one. Ah. There it goes. That's like the seventh rocket today. Vicious strike. Oh, shoot. That was a big freaking wake. That was a huge wake. If this is a bass, it's probably a good one. Oh, it's giant. It's a big one. Large mouth. Wow. Might be my other 18 inch. Come here. Oh, she's digging. Just digging. Oh, gosh, guys. That's four pounds. That's a four-pounder. Oh, look at that choker. <laughs> oh, what a hook set. That's a really yellow fish. My goodness, fish. Guys, I'm almost back to where I launched. Just getting ready to fish this last few yards and then load up, but mm, I love it. All right, let's see if she's 18. It might be too big. I don't know, she's real thick, but she's not long. Look at that. Oh, she's short. Oh, she's so short. Wow, she's about four pounds, though. But she's not long. Shoot, she's not long enough. But it is an upgrade. Wow, in this grass. This grass is pretty good this morning. Or I shouldn't say this afternoon. 
She's 17, right on the nose. Look at the thickness of this fish, though. I guarantee you that's a three and a half pound fish. Thank you, big girl. Oh, hang on. Let's see where she's going. I don't see where she went. She's up under that dock. Dang, what a bass. Man, I'll take that. 